but how you ask, do we keep getting um, like scenes like this in Dallas where this is um, from footage uh, by Omar Gillian um, is in yeah. a uh, Fiesta supermarket and um, she is not happy about um, having to wear a mask when she gets into line. And so she, of course, does the very rational thing, which is throw out all of her uh, stuff in her uh, basket. She has a mask in her hands. She just won't wear it. Call the police. Call the now, here's the other thing that's really offensive that a lot of people have missed on this. And uh, John Benjamin actually uh, pointed this out on Twitter. Go back. Let's play this footage again. Uh, she throws all this stuff out. Go ahead. Uh, run it again, Brandon. She throws all this stuff out. Throwing, like, there's multiple things on the ground there, right? And she keeps throwing it out. All right, stop. What lane is she in? Right, the express lane. She's thrown well over 11 uh, things out of her uh, basket. Still has what appears to be a dozen more. So not only is she not wearing a mask, she's completely disregarding the restrictions on the express lane. She's a maverick. Total. Total. The Constitution says that you can go into express lane and you can't be constrained by how many numbers that they tell you to put in there. Free speech. Money is dollar. You know, money, money is speech. You want your dollars to say, I want more than 11 things in the express lane. I want 12. I want 15. 16. 22. A 15 item express lane is also fairly generous, I feel like. Oh my God. That's not an express lane. Oh, it's Texas. Yeah, I guess that's true. Throwing uh, away your own groceries to own the libs. It's not just um, irritated shoppers who are mad about having to wear masks. This gentleman from St. Lucie County in Florida, footage coming from WPEC, um, makes the argument that he will not be muzzled like a mad dog. And he also makes the argument that he is like a mad dog. We are being lied to. Our freedoms are being taken forever. And I will not be muzzled like a mad dog. And I will not have my health destroyed because you idiots can't figure, can't read truth. You go along with the lies that are the people who are trying to take down our freedoms and destroy our country. This is sick. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for being a part of this. And I will not be muzzled. And, my, and it's time for us to stand up for our freedoms. Because if we stand back and let these pieces of crap handle our freedoms, we will have nothing left. In fact, we'll end up being dead. Amen. This, I mean, all I hear is people saying amen. And I'm with, I mean, this is, they are, the, the, this guy thinks he's exposing some type of cover-up with our masks. He doesn't seem terribly muzzled in this clip. I was going to say, and he does seem like Mad Dog, uh, frankly. I mean, it, it, this is not like... <laughs> we should have government support. This guy should be paid to stay home. This guy probably should also, there should also be like, you know, support for the institution where the guy should be, maybe, I don't know. But, um, but the idea that this is, this is the hill that they're dying on, that we don't want masks. It's just, uh, it's nuts. It's nuts. They can I, turn I, anything into a culture war. It's unbelievable. Something about our history, too, and the way we teach it to people just leaves this sort of, like, ambient feeling of wanting to, like, rebel in some way against mm -hmm. some sort of tyranny. But, like, the way in which people project it comes into, like, the most stupid moments, I feel yeah. like. 
without a class analysis, rebelling against authority does not make sense. I mean, I, yeah, uh, I, I, it, it, I don't understand what the agenda is here. They're just mad at the, 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 the health inspectors. There is something uniquely sick about Anglo-American culture, I think. I'm not just essentializing here. Like, there are material reasons for this. But if you look at the response in other countries with more of a collectivity, shall we say, um, not just China, right? Everyone's like, well, China did a good job because they're authoritarian. They also had a, they had a great response in South Korea. They had a great response in Hong Kong that was largely a result of grassroots action, not so much a top-down government thing. Like, uh, there's, there's a real difference here in culture. Well, and there's no doubt that, like, having experience uh, with prior epidemics and potential pandemics, right, other SARS, whatnot, MERS, has, like, sharpened the uh or you know attuned the the populations to like sort of reacting properly but i'm not convinced even at the other side of this when we get there which will happen it's going to be longer than one would have thought that any of these people will have any different perspective on it like there is not this is not this is not just the ignorance and not taking this seriously particularly at the beginning of this, you know, a lot of societies have been like that on some level, slow to react, not quite sure what to do, but there's no excuse now. This is just like a willful ignorance that is, that is twisted, it's twisted. Let's go to the phones, call them from uh, 